And I am rolling. Okay, tell us your name and your role in this film. Dan Marquardt, and my role in this film, director of photography. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, background, I, really, I got into filmmaking really just a few years ago, and it's something I loved all my life. I mean, growing up, you know, TV was, you know, TV, you know, like today's generation, we just love, we're stuck to a computer or a TV, we're watching the same all the time. And growing up, I just, I love the good documentary, I can't explain it, I much prefer a good documentary of a Playboy any day, so being part of that, that growing up with that interest, and, and, and when you watch the news today, and a lot of things happen in the world, a lot of chaos happens. What I love about what we do is we get to see the world the way we wish to see it. You know, and the world has the potential to be such a cool place. You don't wrestle with it so much. So that was kind of my driving force to getting into filmmaking. And ever since I picked up a camera a few years ago, I haven't put it down. I love what I do. Now, since you are a documentary filmmaker, do you feel it's actually helping you with the improvisational structure of this film? Absolutely. And what I love about it, you know, from the hip, raw, you know, you look at a lot of movies nowadays, and, you know, you can sometimes, even with the actors, things are, you can tell it's script. What, what makes this interesting is that we're doing, without a script, we have a format, but it's without a script, so it's up to the actors to kind of come up with the scenario and what they're going to say. So. What makes the actors more interesting about this and the improv is they actually have to think of their own experiences to put into the scene. So to watch them, you know, interact with one another, it's it's pretty cool what they bounce off with each other, how they feed off of one another. Have you identified with any of the scenes in the movie? I have, I have. I, I won't go into detail. Not like we're being interviewed or anything. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> but you know, so everybody's clear on this. A good man was, you know, Steve Lai. You know, it, you, you, you saw me, and you said, yeah, that's it, good man, coming right up, and this is why we're here. It's all right, you can tell the truth. <laughs> I can be such a rock star. <laughs> uh, you know, believe it or not, I started looking like this really so I didn't have to blend in with the crowd. I kind of want to just not be a part of the crowd, but the mistake I've learned is, you know, because, you know, when you have Dane Bramage, you don't think straight, you know, and, um, Dressing like this, apparently I stick out more than I, you know, hide in the shadows, but it's alright. Tell us what you think uh, a good man is in terms of relationships. A good man, I think, depends on, on, on the woman that you're with, really. If, if you have, like, a, let's just say a, a biker chick, you know, she's into that tough guy thing. I mean, for her, a good man might be the guy is you know, dedicates his time or his protection or, you know, for her. You know, whereas you may have somebody like, like Lena or Megan or Lori. You know, they're a little more subdued down to earth, a little more civil, you know. A good man to them might be somebody who really, you know, is willing to commit to the relationship as well as be 50-50 and the things that they do and say. You know, so it varies, you know. I'm not a, I'm a good man to one woman, but everybody else may think I'm something different. And what do you think that the audience uh, should expect from this film? Real life. Again, it's not scripted. Which, what, what, what makes this interesting is because there's a lack of a script, the, again, like I said, the actors and the actresses have to deal from their own raw you know, experiences and, and to kind of put that into cue. And I think that's what makes it more interesting. So when you're watching, you're actually hearing them talk about experiences that they've been through and just put into the improvisation of the scene. So it's pretty unique. Do you think it was a good idea to create a structure for each scene so every actor knows where they're going and how it's going to end? You always need a format for certain things, yeah, I believe so. Even if things are unscripted or planned out correctly, at least if you have somewhat of a, a structure or a format, you know, it helps to keep things in a certain bind. And is there any uh, final words you want to say to the uh, audience watching this? Yes, absolutely. I rock. <laughs> <laughs>